the traditional Chinese martial arts are dead. I say this because I'm in the traditional Chinese martial arts and have been for over 20 years. And I talk to all the weapons manufacturers that have historically done business trading and selling and acquiring traditional Chinese Gong Fu weapons. They're all out of business and if they are in business still, they're doing wushu weapons that are lighter, flimsier, fake, and only designed for performance wushu, which is more of a gymnastic sport displaying incredible athleticism, but not traditional combat Chinese martial arts for war, like the monks did for over 1500 years. Currently, I'm no longer in the USA. I'm in France. I'm staying at a castle or chateau. And I found this chain on one of the gates here at the chateau. You guys can find chain like this in any hardware store for a minimal cost. The welds are high quality, so it's not gonna separate on me, and the metal is strong. It's real steel. I don't have a dart on the end, so I've got some nice carabiners. I'm gonna combine them together so they're serving the purpose of a dart and so I can see the gold at the end for my orientation. I can't carry a chain whip with me even though I still have three heavy duty traditional Gong Fu chain whips because I can't bring them on planes, I can't bring them through customs and I can't travel the world with them. I wanna still practice my chain whip, my favorite of the Chinese Gong Fu weapons. So I'm gonna make a chain whip out of this and this will keep my skills at a high level while I'm away from my training area at my home. Stop making excuses. If you live in an area where it's difficult to find a martial art teacher or it's difficult to acquire traditional Gong Fu weapons, build them yourself. Everybody's got excuses, but excuses are like butts. Everyone's got one and they all stink. The world belongs to those who are doers. Get out there and do it. Make your own weapons. And if you guys are like me and you're a doer, go to the next part of this video. I'll teach you guys a few techniques that you can try at home if you understand that you're training at your own risk and if you wanna learn the traditional chain whip at home. I want you guys to think about if you were to fight me right now and you had empty hand, just yourself, if you had a knife or if you had a baseball bat or if you had a club or a stick and I had this big piece of chain. I'm able to keep you far away from me with the swinging action of the chain. Swinging it like this, I can hit you from a generous distance away. You wouldn't even have a chance to hit me with your knife if I was using this whip. I have the ability to fold it in half and use it as a nunchuck if you came in closer range and this doubles my weight and makes it very dangerous at a closer range. And I have the ability to shoot, to use the chain as a rat tail like you used to do against your brother with a towel, only this is a chain hitting you and causing not only a welt, but maybe a cracked bone and a gaping hole in your skin. There are different ways we can use it as a whip, and this is just one simple one. The shoot created so much velocity, just that simple underhand shoot, the gold carabiner shot off, went so far, it went out of our sight, and we couldn't find it. In addition to smacking somebody from long range this way, in addition to a simple shoot, like an underhand shoot this way, we also have other spins we can do that can smack somebody, that can bind up and capture a weapon like a sword, a bat, a knife, or an arm, but can also give us awareness over our weapon so that the chain whip will never bite us. Unless you're a beginner, it'll always bite you for the first few years as you practice your skills. So wear a mouthpiece maybe a helmet, maybe elbow and knee pads. Treat this weapon as if you're about to go play lacrosse. Look at this momentum. As smooth as the waves of the ocean crashing on the shore. Like a clock that always tells perfect time. Not like this, incorrect. Smooth, smooth, keep that momentum and that speed and that smoothness as we spin it like this. Now watch my kill. I'm going to kill it. Kill behind. Reverse. Did you hear the whip? Very little because I'm smooth. Kill it in front. Other direction. 
This is your first technique. Striking somebody vertically over the top, having awareness over your weapon, killing it, striking somebody under the groin or under the chin as you spin it this way. This is also building hand, fingertip, and wrist and arm strength. It feels like you're arm wrestling somebody, and in a sense you are. You're taming a wild horse and trying to make the horse at one with you. And the whip in the beginning is that wild horse. Next, spin it like this over the top vertically. Now work on walking with me and using your arm to speed up the momentum of the whip under the armpit. Step. Over the elbow. Step. Under the armpit. Step. Over the elbow. Step. Under the armpit. Over the elbow. Under the armpit. Over the elbow. Armpit. Elbow. Armpit. Elbow. Faster and faster. Be able to kill it at a moment's notice. Catch it in the hand. This is an extension of your own body. It should become at one with you. We have to become comfortable with our whip, even though it's heavy and scary, even though it's traditional weight, and even though it might hit us in the head or the neck. So use your neck to move forward and use your neck to build the speed of the attack. Neck, elbow, neck, elbow, neck, elbow, neck, elbow, neck, elbow. Kill it, make it at one with you, again. The ability to stop your weapon from hurting you, but then immediately hitting someone trying to sneak up on you with a faster spin. But we'll practice now. Forward spin under the armpit, rest it like a baby on the other arm. Under cradle. Look at my cradle. They're behind you, sneaking up on you. Fling it off, get the spin going this way. Cradle it over the arm, under the armpit. They're behind you, flip it off, get it going this way. This is it, 50 times a day, under the armpit. Cradle, flip it, other direction. Under the armpit, cradle, flip it, other direction. Armpit, cradle, flip, switch. Kill it, capture it, you're at one again with your new limb. Back to our initial attack, this way. Awareness, momentum, body control, rolling with the whip, keep the spin going. Come up, it's still going. Roll again. It's still going. Roll again. It's still going. And then let's bind it up to our body, fling it off, and face the other direction, ready for an attacker that's on this side. Roll. Still going. Roll. Still going. Around the body, flip the direction, catch it or continue the spin. A good closing move around the waist. We can use this carabiner to lock it. The carabiner allows me to turn it into a nice accessory. And now I'm looking a little bit like Damo as I continue my fitness training, my Tai Chi, or my other Gong Fu training of the day.